Hi and welcome back. So it's time for another NMN comparison video. Uh, as well as living in the region, I've had quite a few requests for people asking what is the most cost effective supplier of NMN in the Middle East. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what could be the most cost effective supplier of NMN in the Middle East. As before, we can only really do a head to head on identical items. As before, the big three still sell 100 grams of NMN. We've looked at that previously, so we're going to look at that again. So all three have their NMN tested by Micro Quality Labs Inc. And at the date of recording this, not posting it, Renewed by Science display a purity level of 99%. DonorAge.org show 99% also. And Pro Health Longevity show 99.1%. So not much in it really. All three also test for heavy metals and their heavy metal scores are also very close too. So the main factors will be the price of the NMN and shipping to the relevant country. So let's take a look at the initial prices. Renew by Science have dropped theirs ever so slightly and they're now going to charge you $117.95. DunaAge.org will charge you $117 and Pro Health Longevity are going to charge you $144.95, still far and away the most expensive of the big three. Add to that the 10% My NMN discount code, and these prices drop again. Renew by Science will now only charge you $106.95. DonorAge.org goes down to $105.30. Pro Health don't offer the 10% My NMN discount code, so they're still going to charge you $144.95. And 95. So Duna Age is now $1.65 cheaper than Renew by Science, but still a whopping $39.65 cheaper than Pro Health. Now let's take a look at the shipping and how these prices translate into other currencies. So first of all, let's look at the largest country in the Middle East, and that's the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and shipping to Riyadh. Postcode 11483. Renewed by Science shipping to Saudi is going to cost you 15 US dollars. That's around 56 Saudi Arabian reals. DonorAge.org is going to charge you 29 US dollars to ship to Saudi, and that's around 109 Saudi reals. Pro Health Longevity using the USPS 6 to 10 day priority mail service is going to charge you $22.88, and that's around 86 reals. So to ship 100 grams out of NMN powder to Saudi. Renew by Science is going to charge you around 499 reals. Duna Age will charge you around 548 and Pro Health will set you back 630 reals. So if you live in Saudi Arabia, Renew by Science is 49 reals cheaper than Duna Age and a whopping 131 reals cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. So let's head over to the Kingdom of Bahrain with shipping to the airport in Manama. Renew by Science shipping to Bahrain is going to cost you 15 US dollars and that's around five Bahraini dinar. DunaAge.org shipping to Bahrain is going to cost you 27 US dollars and that's around 10 Bahraini dinar. Pro Health Longevity don't ship to Bahrain, so there are the running for this one particular comparison. So to ship 100 grams of NMN powder to Bahrain is going to cost you from Renew by Science around 50 dinar. DunaAge.org will charge you around 54 dinar. So if you live in Bahrain, Renew by Science is four dinar cheaper than DunaAge.org. Let's now head over to Qatar with shipping to Doha and the pin code 380038. Renew by Science shipping to Doha is going to cost you 15 US dollars. That's around 54 Qatari real. DunaAge.org shipping to Doha is going to cost you $27 and that's around 98 Qatari real. Pro Health Longevity shipping to Doha using their 6 to 10 day priority mail service is going to cost you $22.68. That's around 83 Qatari Real. So shipping 100 grams of NMN powder to Doha from Renew by Science is going to cost you around 485 Qatari Real. DunaAge.org will charge you around 525 Real. And Pro Health will set you back 600 and 11 real. So if you live in Doha, Renew by Science is 40 real cheaper than do not age org and 126 real cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. So moving on, let's head up to Israel. We're shipping to Tel Aviv and the postcode 701 
0000. We're new by signs. Shipping to Tel Aviv is going to cost you 15 US dollars. That's around 52 Israeli shekels. Donorage.org. Shipping to Tel Aviv is going to cost you 19 US dollars. That's around 66 shekels. Pro Health Longevity using their FedEx International six day service is going to cost you $22.42 and that's around 77 shekels. So to ship 100 grams of NMN to Israel, Renew by Science will charge you around 459 shekels. Duna Age will charge you around 470 shekels and Pro Health Longevity will set you back 579 Israeli shekels. So if you live in Tel Aviv, Renew by Science is around 11 shekels cheaper than Duna Age and around 120 shekels cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. So let's head over to Lebanon and shipping to Beirut with the postcode 37090. Renew by Science shipping to Beirut is going to cost you 15 US dollars and that's around 22,747 Lebanese pounds. Dunaage.org shipping to Beirut, they're going to charge you 27 US dollars and that's around 40,944 Lebanese pounds. Pro Health Longevity shipping to Beirut using their USPS priority mail 6 to 10 day service. They're going to charge you $22.88 and that's around 34,696 Lebanese pounds. So to ship 100 grams of NMM powder to Beirut, Renew by Science is going to charge you around 201,613 Lebanese pounds. Dunaage.org are going to charge you around 218,370 pounds and Pro Health Longevity will set you back 254,000 507 pounds. So if you live in Beirut, Renew by Science is around 16,757 pounds cheaper than Do Not Age and a whopping 52,894 pounds cheaper than Pro Health Longevity. These prices may still be too expensive for some people and some may want to seek out cheaper products on platforms such as Amazon. As you may know, I recently tested the top three Amazon recommendations for purity and the results were less than acceptable. Also, recently Chromadex Laboratories tested 22 brands on Amazon with the highest market share. These were the results and you can pause the video and check the details in slow time. There's also a link in the description below to the report. But in summary, only 14% of the 22 brands tested had NMN content at or above the claim that was made on the label. So only 14% of the companies were actually telling the truth. 23% had NMN content that was below the claim made on the label. So the company were at best misleading you, or as I would say, they were flat out lying. 64% had NMN content below the detection limit indicating less than 1% of the claimed NMN was actually present in the supplement. So again, egregiously lying. And NMN was not detected at all. So 0% in 14% of the products. So no NMN whatsoever. So I'm wondering what it is those customers were actually ingesting. Well, I hope you found it interesting or informative, hopefully both. And if you live in the Middle East and you're looking for an NMN supplier, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, I find it interesting to do these kind of review videos that aren't always the US, the UK and Australia and to work in other currencies too. Unfortunately, Pro Health Longevity is still quite a long way behind Renew by Science and Do Not Age. Let's hope they catch up soon and pass on savings to their customers. Now, you may be from a country I haven't covered so far. Please let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do an NMN comparison video for your country or indeed any supplement for that fact, whether it be resveratrol or uh, indeed something like apigenin. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.